Matt Robinson with your SCV News Break for Thursday, November 5th. A man is in a medically induced coma after being struck by a vehicle on Wednesday night. The man was seen lying on the ground near West Creekside Road and Auto Center Drive by witnesses. He was reportedly not in a crosswalk when he was hit and the person who hit him was not cited. The man is currently in critical condition at Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital. The man killed in a crash on Interstate 5 has been identified as Andro Barsom of Canyon Country. The 20-year-old man collided with the rear end of a parked semi-truck near the 14 freeway around 8.25 a.m. on Wednesday. California Highway Patrol says Barsom was the only person in the vehicle at the time and no one else was hurt in the crash. The incident is still under investigation. The remains found earlier this week near a remote area in Lake Hughes has been identified as a skull and jawbone. The bones were found by hunters near Pine Canyon by the Upper Shake Campground. Homicide detectives will be testing for DNA and dental records, but identification and cause of death will take time. Further investigations should also reveal whether the death was from natural causes or a homicide. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we will hear about how the city will be honoring local veterans. Plus, Rancho Camulos Museum plans to screen a lost silent film from 1916 this weekend. Stay tuned. Hi Santa Clarita, did you know November is Men's Health Month? I'm sure you've heard of Movember, No Shave November. We're gonna have a huge campaign this month. We really want you guys to get involved. SCV TV and HomeSmart are proud sponsors of this event. At the end of the month, we're gonna have a great get together and just celebrate living here in Santa Clarita and men's health. And I'm Ray Tippett with A Circle of Hope. Please look for more information at www.circleofhopeinc.org. Welcome back. The City of Santa Clarita invites residents to join City Council members for a special Veterans Day ceremony honoring local veterans and their families. The ceremony will be on Wednesday, November 11th at the Veterans Historical Plaza on North Walnut Street in Newhall. The day's events will include guest speakers, including a special reading by Robert Heinzich as a sign of respect for those who are missing in action or prisoners of war. There will also be a changing of the flags by the Knights of Columbus Santa Clarita Assembly and the Vietnam Veterans of America. Rancho Camulos Museum will present a lost silent film clip this Saturday. The museum will screen Ramona, which was originally released in 1916. The fundraiser will take place Saturday, November 7th at 5.30 p.m. and will include a festive dinner and wine. Members will get the special price of $40 per person and non-members pay $50 per person. Now turning to weather, temps rose slightly Thursday into the upper 60s to low 70s. Temperatures will stay in the low 40s with an overnight low of 44 degrees. As we head into the weekend, we will hit the mid to high 70s, but overnight lows will stay in the 40s. Wind is expected to pick up with gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Well, that's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. I'm Matt Robinson. Thanks for watching.